well, more drama again for all the shot fans, a penalty shootout and a fantastic turnaround <coughs> to go through to the next round of the FA Trophy. Talk us through that one. Well, look, let's be honest, um, whilst I don't think we were at our best in the first half, you'll give credit to Reesley, they came out and started the game strong on the front foot. Whilst I thought they had a lot of territory, I don't think they, they caused us too many problems in terms of chances created. Um, but yeah, we were really disappointed with how we played in the first half and second half was, was much, much better in the end. Is it tricky to kind of go in and at half time and make that team talk when you're, you're, you're down and maybe heads are a bit low? And No, I mean, it, it's not, not at all. It's just, you know, sometimes you've got to take a little bit of criticism on the chin, whether you're player, staff, whoever, you know, media, you get a little <laughs> bit of critique from me. Um, we, we, we weren't doing. We didn't look like us. We weren't playing like us. We weren't passing the ball like us. The, the things that are is our identity just wasn't present. Um, was it, it was more so in the second half. And uh, so, yeah, sometimes it's, you just got to got tinker with stuff. I mean, we moved a few players around positionally. Um, it's not just. It's, it's just about just reminding us of who we are, where we're at. The people that are behind the goal over there that have come to watch them, you know. Go and be us, go and play like, like, like this all the shot town can and should play. Let's talk about team selection just quickly. Sure. Josh Stokes was, was missing from the starting line up today. Is that just a case of giving him a bit of a rest, a long overdue a rest? A little bit maybe, but also, you know, he um, you know, he he, had, he was absent for a day this week just for a family matter. And um, so yeah, I mean he's, he's 19, he's come from step four to step one where let's step four and this isn't disrespectful to step four step four is, is maybe say let's say that's 20 mile an hour mm -hmm. step one's at 60 mile an hour and he's gone from 20 mile an hour to 60 mile an hour very quick and maintained it and sometimes you do need to have a little bit of a breather from it and you know freshness is the key thing now moving forward for not just for Josh but for everybody as well and of course there was a red card for Eastley in the set early in the second half maybe we thought we could get back in the game there but then Eastley score in a second not long after I guess that that was a bit of a moment maybe for the players to lose their heads but didn't let, they didn't no, let it I get mean, to them it, and they got back into it didn't we're they? All just, the players and the staff were all disappointed with the second goal because there's something we work on a lot the way that we defend our box and Paul McCallum is a, is, a, is a major threat not just off the first ball into the box but all the bits as we call it the second balls third balls fourth balls whatever phase you want to call it and he, he was unmarked if you leave Paul McCallum unmarked the form that he's currently in there's only going to be one outcome but again credit to the players we've come from 2-0 down quite a few times this season and turned stuff around and this is where the players deserve a lot of credit because they don't know when they're done and they just keep going and keep going and keep going and we felt you know when Jack come on and scored and made it 2-1 a little bit like at Bromley, you just feel like, do you know what, we, we can go on here. And uh, so, yeah, the, the players deserve the credit. They deserve, they deserve a bit of criticism for the first half performance, but they do deserve credit for just keep going and going and going and, uh, you know, good on them. Well, you must, I guess, maybe take credit for throwing Jack Barham on and him scoring after no, listen, a few seconds. No, listen, I'm, I'm in, you know, I, I know how Tommy thinks and what he wants, you know, and, uh, you know, Sometimes he can look at me up in the stands. I can't always hear him. Sometimes I choose not to hear him, but I can tell I know what he wants. So um, yeah, he wanted he wanted Jack on the pitch, and that was clear. So that's what we did. That's, that's brilliant, isn't it? Scoring with, literally was what second touch, seconds after coming yeah, on. Yeah, we'd spoken about it at half time. To be fair, you know, because there was a lot of space in behind them. We felt, and but we just weren't exploiting it well enough. And uh, yeah. Jack Barham was very good at that. And the penalty shootout is always a drama. It's always lot the lottery, isn't it? So it must have been felt really a lot of relief to have got what we probably deserve from that game and, and to go through to the next round. Yeah, it's, and again, the players deserve the credit. The, you know, with the full-time whistle went, just a very simple question, who wants the penalty? And they all went, one way, I'll go first, can I have the third one? I'll go fourth, oh, okay, well, I'll take the second. Kobe, I'll take the fifth. And Jack's looking around going, all right, well, I'll take the sixth then. So they, they, were, all, they were all down to, they all wanted to take a penalty. Uh, and I think that speaks volumes about them. Geordie as well, obviously. A mistake for the first goal, for Eastley's first goal there, so it's slipping it through his grasp. I, I feel so, do you know what? I mean, players, outfield players make mistakes yeah. all the time, you know. We made a mistake for the, for the goals that yeah. we conceded today. But the first goal, and because it, because it's Geordie, it gets magnified. It, you know, come on, the guys, the guy doesn't deserve any, uh, you know, we, we should only speak about Geordie in a positive way. He made one error, hey-ho. How often does he bail the boys out? And what I was going to say is, what we 
he made the winning save, well, uh, practically yeah, it's, the winning it's save. It's a didn't great he, save, so. you know. Um, but listen, he's he's our number one for a reason, you know. Um, he's a he's a great goalkeeper. He's a great guy, and uh, yeah, we love we, we love having him here. And it's not going to get to him, is it? There's brilliant character in this group, and Jordy is one of those. So it'll, oh it'll yeah, be listen, the thing is, the thing about Jordy, Jordy's a winner, yeah. right? Jordy doesn't want to lose. Uh, he doesn't want to lose a small sided game. He probably doesn't want to lose a game of cards. He's a winner. He has that mentality. Not just him, but his teammates as well. They they want to win everything that they do. You know. So I'm pleased for Jordy, uh, but I'm equally pleased for you know just the football club as a whole. And again, the away end. It's a special moment, you know, with the noise that comes out of there and the, and the, the appreciation and, and just seeing everyone so happy. Go home and enjoy your weekend now. Happy days.